Hey everybody, it's James Freeman. Today is day 2 out of 10 of exposing Logan, Utah Police Department for fighting against transparency using false claims to private companies as well as false criminal charges. Members of the Logan Police Department are attempting to have every single video of them scrubbed from the internet, which is why we're asking everyone watching this to please mirror it on your YouTube channel or any other social media platform that you can. On day two, we show Corporal Olson refusing to show his ID badge as his own department policy requires, and then go into the complaint that's filed with the department for the policy violation. I will say that I believe that most of these policies are absolutely arbitrary, ridiculous, and petty. But they are their policies, not ours. As I've shown over the years on my channel, government makes all kinds of rules. They call them legislation, codes, statutes, laws, and then they refuse to obey them. Then they make their own policies within their departments, which often violate the law. And then they even refuse to obey their own policies. For the record, I think it's ridiculous that every officer should have to provide an ID card to every jackass that walks up and demands it. But on that note, I'd also like to take a line out of their book. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Stay tuned because you guys won't believe what this department does in response to someone filing a complaint about an officer violating their own policy. Got your ID card on you? My ID card? Yep. I don't need to have it on Yeah, you do. It's part of your policy. Is it? Yep. Anytime a citizen asks for your ID card, you're supposed to show it to them. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen tonight. That's not going to happen tonight? Nope. What's your name? I've already, I've already told you who I am. What's your name? Randy. I already told you who What's I am. What's your name? I'm Officer Olson. What's your first name? It doesn't matter. Sure does, because I'm going to file a complaint on you for not having your ID card on you like you're supposed to. Okay. I can show it to you in your policy, man. Okay. I've read all 536 pages of your policy. Well, that sounds pretty boring. Yeah, because you obviously haven't read it. I've read every bit of it. It doesn't seem like it. it doesn't seem like it, man. Okay. You don't have your ID card. I have my ID card on on me, and I'm not I'm not showing it to you. You're not going to show it to me. I don't need to. Okay, perfect. I'm glad you just said that on camera. Okay. So that'll be good for your lieutenants and port okay. and uh, stuff to look at. All right, that'll be fine. And uh, you'll have a pilot policy violation on your record now. That'll be just fine. Perfect. You know how to file a complaint, so. I sure do, man. Or a lieutenant, I can hand this to you and get a copy of it, please. Um, yes, one moment. All How are we doing today? Pretty good, man. Do you have your ID card on you? I don't have one. Why not? Why not? Yeah. It's actually it's, uh, being redone. How's that? Went through the wash. Went through the wash? All right. Thank you. I just want a copy of it, please. You want a copy? Yes, please. What you guys got going on on here today? I'm sorry, what? You got the dedication for the new library going on today? Yeah, I, I think it's around 11 o'clock. Okay. So the complaint was filed on Corporal Olson for violating policy 1046.2.1 that says that he's supposed to show a department-issued ID when asked for it by a citizen. But rather than finding that Corporal Olson's actions didn't meet policy, they changed the policy to meet Corporal Olson's actions. Three days later, on the department's official website, the policy was changed, and Corporal Olson was found to have done nothing wrong. Now again, I can't stress enough how petty and ridiculous I think this issue actually is, but 
it's a perfect representation of the way that government typically works. There's all kinds of silly and ridiculous rules for you and I to obey, and if we don't, we get punished with fines and or loss of liberty. But people who call themselves government have a history of making themselves unaccountable to their own rules. I also want to point out the fact that I never would have covered this video on my channel if it weren't for the fact that the Logan Police Department is trying to have this video scrubbed from the internet. That is why I'm inviting anyone and everyone with the ability to download this video and re-upload it to your own YouTube channel or any other social media platforms you may have. I feel that it's important that no matter how big or small, or even how petty the story, that we do not allow government to infringe on the First Amendment by trying to have stories that they don't like taken down. If you have any questions or concerns about the Logan Police Department and or its representatives infringing on free press, contact information is in the description below. Logan City Police Department. Hey, how you doing this afternoon? Getting old and gray. What can I do for you? Are you getting a lot of calls today? Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, are you guys uh, changing bad behavior yet or...? Changing what behavior? Uh, the bad behavior of uh, making false um, privacy claims. Well, I'll tell you what. When individuals call anonymously and start calling us foul names mm -hmm. and using foul language, we don't have to put up with that. And none of these individuals are here being videotaped and put on an international forum either okay so unless they want are agreeing to you know unless they want to be put on an international forum also we have the same rights as they do right and and it, it appears that you fail to understand those rights you have no no right no. to privacy well, ma'am i mean just listen you got no right to privacy you know how many individuals i have listened quote <clears throat> i'm done Oh, okay. So you're, if I'm you're sorry. not going to, I, I hope you understand. This is James. I'm the one who's going to keep reposting and giving and, and helping you understand the Streisand effect. You're either going to learn or you're not, but we are going to keep legally, lawfully publishing stories about your bad behavior. Logan City, please. Hey, I think I already spoke to you just a moment ago. Is that right? Nope, I didn't talk to you. Oh, okay. Um, are you guys getting a lot of calls today? We sure are. Okay. Are we fixing the bad behavior? Yep, we're on it. Okay. So you guys are, are going to stop trying to fight against transparency. Is that right? Um, I, as far as I know, yes. We are going to also do all the things to make everybody happy. <laughs> okay. Within the law, legally, lawfully... You're gonna and you're gonna stop fighting transparency. You mean, right? Well, we're gonna have our rights and respect the rights of others. Excellent. So you'll stop expecting privacy in a public place. Is that correct? Have a good day. Okay. Logan City Police, Lieutenant Randall. Hey, Lieutenant Randall. It's James. I spoke to you yesterday. Hey, James. What's going on? Oh, same old man. I'm tired of this. Cool. I'm tired of this one. I want to move on to the next one. Oh, of course, there's always a next one, right? There, you know, there is. Then there's, 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 of course. Like I said yesterday, usually there's a lot worse than you guys, but uh, right now Logan Police Department is number one in the nation. What are we doing? Cool. What are we doing? Yeah. Um, so I took your information. I took your information to the city attorney yesterday. Mm -hmm. about, well, I don't know what time we got done talking. Okay. Um, and he is contacting, uh, I, don't, I don't know, our, our insurance carriers. Does that make sense? So Logan okay. City has insurance. We have a large deductible, but we do have insurance. And our insurance carrier is nothing but a bunch of lawyers, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And they're researching what you're, what you're, what you're assuming, and hopefully we'll have some direction by the end of today or tomorrow on, uh, on what, uh, what you're saying. Sure. So that's what we're doing. Okay. All right. Um, are people in the department still filing these false privacy complaints, or no? Not to my knowledge. Okay. It would be appreciated if you decide to share this video, if you would put a link to Cache Valley Transparency, the original creator of all of these videos. Many of the original videos can't be found on his channel anymore because of the retaliatory action of Logan Police. 
He does, however, make regular updates on his channel that you can keep up with. And as far as the videos that may get deleted, as you can see, they're going to continue to be reposted on dozens of channels and other platforms all over the internet. Thank you so much to every single one of you out there who is helping to fight for transparency and truly free press.